If jobs are a key to the race for governor, then the growing debate over the state's venture capital fund could prove pivotal in deciding the winner. Now, Governor Walker is touting his success at establishing that fund, but Mary Burke, his Democratic challenger, says it's too small and exclusive. Greg Newman has you covered with that debate in tonight's Capitol. FluGen Incorporated is developing what it hopes will be a world-changing vaccine to protect people against every kind of flu. Companies like this rely on investors, but the state won't be making an investment in FluGen because it's a biotech firm. Biotech is clearly an engine for this state, and so not being able to access those funds is really concerning to me. Social conservatives in the legislature excluded biotech firms from the state's new $25 million venture capital fund due to concerns over the use of embryonic stem cells. It's something Mary Burke wants to change if elected governor. And this is something that if we're going to grow Wisconsin's economy, we need to be able to provide the capital uh, to startups that are going to grow jobs here in Wisconsin. Scott Walker speaks very carefully about biotech's role in the future of that fund, but he points out he's the first governor to successfully establish such a fund. We're the first ones that actually put money in and in a sizable amount, $25 million. There's also the question of whether or not that fund should be bigger. Democrat Mary Burke is saying it should be at least $120 million. The governor is taking more of a wait-and-see approach. To me, I think the taxpayers want us to show that it can work, and if it does, we'll certainly put more money into it. The push from hungry companies like this will certainly only get stronger. Greg Newman, 27 News. Mary Burke's campaign points out Wisconsin ranked 45th for entrepreneurship in this year's Kauffman Foundation rankings. Governor Walker says that's because there was no venture capital fund before, and he believes those numbers will go up.